Today we're checking out the Tembo Tugger Dog Bungee Toy. Let's open this baby up and see what's inside. First we have this long, somewhat skinny black cord, and next here we have what looks to be a black bungee cord. Here's the bungee cord. It's quite nice quality. It seems very durable, yet still has a good amount of elasticity. Lastly, we have this green rope toy that goes on the end of the bungee. This is what your dog will grab onto and pull once the whole thing is set up. This little sheet here shows us how to set up the tumbo tugger with some handy illustrations that make it pretty easy to figure out. After reading the instructions, I now know that this here is our height adjustment rope, which lets us fine tune the height of the bungee toy. Here's our bungee toy with a big loop at one end, which we'll throw over the tree branch and a smaller loop at the other end, which we'll attach the toy to. This bungee is really nice quality. I feel pretty confident it'll be tough enough to stand up to Remy's teeth. This rope toy seems to be pretty good quality too. It's softer than the bungee cord rope and I really like the color. Okay, let's see about getting this bungee oh, toy set up outside. Boy. Step one is to throw the large loop over an object. And you want to put it over something that's roughly 8 to 13 feet high. I chose this branch because I think it's like the most sturdy one that's within the fence line here. So uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Here's the large loop that was mentioned in the tutorial. So I'm going to try to toss this over that tree branch. Hiya! Hmm. Sorry, I think I need to put down the phone for this. Okay, I was able to throw the bungee cord over this tree branch. Now I'm just going to pull this loop down and then I hook it through here and tighten so that the large loop is tightening up towards the top and the small loop is staying down here. So there we go. Step one complete. Okay, so now we have this rope and this is called the height adjustment rope. So now we've got the adjustment rope and the toy loop. So we're gonna just put this through here. And then take the other end and put it through that loop too. Sorry if I didn't explain that well. Remy's really trying to get at this toy, so it's kind of hard to do both. Now we have the toy tied to the height adjustment loop. Let's see. So it's too long, um, but Remy already has gotten the hang of what he's supposed to do. I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeah, go for it. I hope that branch is strong enough. Pull, Remy, pull! <laughs> Is that fun, Remy? Oh yeah. This is fun, huh? <laughs> go, Remy, go! Pull, pull, pull! You can do it! As you can see, Remy really does enjoy this tug toy. <laughs> However, it's worth noting that Remy doesn't run over and play oh, with this on his own when I let him outside. Tuck, tuck, tuck. He needs me to engage with him and grab it in order to show any interest in playing with it. I think this is pretty common. My understanding is that most dogs aren't very good at independent play. So while the tumbo tugger probably isn't the holy grail secret of getting your dog to exercise himself without your help, it's still a really fun, easy way to engage your dog in play without you needing to be super active. Let me know what you guys think about the tumbo tugger in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!